budget uh, mic booth. Actually, the topic of this uh, uh, video is about how you can make your singer happy from 25 bucks. And you, I think you're already thinking on that, why it's in the plug in serial. Uh, let's uh, think about a bit um, why you have to make your singer much more happy. Because if your singer are happy, uh, she or he will give you much more better singing and you will be really happy with your mix and uh, your idea and, and your song will become much more better. And um, what you can uh, uh, give to her or for him from, from 25 bucks, um, maybe a carton of beer or one bottle of good vodka or two bottles of very good wine. But of course on the end you will get uh, some singing like this. On my street. <laughs> this is not good, I think. So, uh, let's see what can make your singer happier for 25 bucks. Now I will change the the, the position of the camera because uh, this mic booth it, it's really small it's like about uh, one and a half uh, square meter I don't know in feet <laughs> sorry uh, my visitors from the States so actually uh, I will replace myself with the camera and uh, I will go outside and the camera will come inside and then I show you the 25 bucks solution for happy singer Okay, no, I just I try to get in everything <laughs> into this uh, mic booth. And I try to to close the door behind me, but nah, okay, I will uh, not close the door at the moment. <laughs> Wait a sec, guys. So <laughs> now I will play the my singer, but for then I have to rise up a bit the the camera sorry guys it's take uh, too much touches so let me show you what you can buy on a ebay for 25 bucks so let's turn the camera and here we are we are in the picture okay so Actually, I'm talking about this unit, and uh, I'm really like this, and I'm really happy with this uh, really El Cheapo uh, FX unit. And uh, sorry, just I have to um, get closer to my mic and uh, do some uh, adjustments. So. Actually, I will explain to you guys why I like this uh, art, Dr. X. I think this is how they uh, pronounce it, it's like Dear X or uh, Dear um, Slash X or Hash X, so I don't know. It's actually, it's a, it's a, it's actually, it's a, digital multi-effector dynamic processor and sampler and um, so let me tell you guys the the story a bit about this unit um, just i lower the the mic okay to the right position so the story of this unit um, one time i'm i watched uh, just i'm um, get around and, uh, and i sit on my computer and i just, uh, you know, you know, guys, I always uh, looking for some new toys and uh, some some stuff what I have to repair. And um, it's actually, I always afraid to to buy some uh, really uh, cheapo uh, FX units because I have uh, really, uh, I say it's good uh, and decent uh, FX units I have. And time to time you can see on a, on a eBay, uh, 
El Cheapo F units for almost nothing, for 5, 7, 10 dollar or 20 or something like this. So actually, I already has another unit from the art, which is the, which is the voice channel. And um, you see maybe here, okay. Uh, this is a really great uh, mic preamp and um, compressor and uh, equalizer and uh, analog to, to digital uh, converter. It's really, I really like it. Uh, later on, I will do um, a full re review on that. So actually, I really like the the art as a company on, a, on analog gears, but uh, I, I read some articles about uh, the digital stars and everybody says it's, it's like the the what is this um, hmm. so actually every everybody is compared to the Behringer digital stars and um, uh, some uh, midi verb or something like this and uh, okay I always said sorry I just turned back the the camera and it's actually I still don't have a cameraman, so I always throw the beat, eh, art, 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 on the digital, who knows, who knows. But I'm telling you guys, this baby, it's after when I repair it, because it has, of course, some, some issue, really I came to be lover to, to this effect unit. Let me show you why. So actually, uh, this FX unit, it's a really El Cheapo and uh, it's nothing fancy is going on it. It's just, uh, as you see, it has to display. There is some presets and here you can uh, adjust the, um, the parameters inside in the effect. And then later on, I saw that part. That, you see that? Yeah, sorry, I will zoom on it. So that part I'm talking about. This part here, it's fully analog after the, the effect unit. And I know because I opened it and I did uh, some repairments on, on, the, on, the, the, on the pots and uh, I applied some grass and cleaning and then the whole unit is came uh, to be arrow free. So this part here it's really really handy because if you compare to other um, mm, uh, small l cheapo effect units you're almost missing these three things here which is one is the input uh, sensitivity you will see now i turn up a bit uh, and uh, the output sensitivity. So, for example, if you have uh, a not a high level uh, mixer or something, you really can drive this more uh, 6, 7 uh, dB uh, as, uh, as what is coming on uh, out. And here is the my biggest lovely things, because here you can adjust the, the amount of of the effect mixing also and uh, from that this unit is came to me a really really a small lovely toy why i'm talking about this part is came to be really handy uh, after when i when i bought the unit and i repaired uh, everything um I start to think of it, ah, where I will put it, where I will use it. So I really don't have uh, free places on my uh, uh, on my desk uh, rack system. So ah, it's 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 almost for free five uh, months. It's, it's just sit on a corner and get dust and whatever. And then one time I get a. Uh, 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 a lady who is uh, who is a singer, but she is always uh, singing on on the, on the, on the live shows, and she 
ask from me when we did the, when we did a record together here in in my small studio she asked me hey uh, robert can you please give me some effect on my voice aha uh-huh. and then this is the this is the point when i when i realized okay it's no problem because i have a really a uh, good uh, digital mixer so it's uh, not a problem to take uh, one of the the in- inside the effect engine of of the digital mixer and put it on her uh, monitor channel and and I finished but then i realized i used all of my effect units on the song so every time when she did a singing i have to listen to back and i always have to jiggling on on the, on the the routing in my mixer so oh, okay so uh okay root back from uh, from the aux 7 to back to the mixer so it's a really annoying process and of course i have uh, other uh, out gear um, fx units but these units are also used on on the record so So then I came with the with the solution. I just uh, I just pick up this baby. I put it here in the uh, top of the 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 headphone amplifier and I connected this directly to the output uh, to one of the output of the of the art uh, voice channel and actually I drive this uh effect unit from the voice channel and uh, the um, the the sound of this effect unit i can uh, patch it into the uh, into this uh, headphone amplifier and uh, on this uh, specific headphone amplifier it's it's uh, nothing fancy it's just uh, uh 80 or 100 uh, bucks uh, Behringer. I don't know what is this. This is uh, uh, Pro XL. I think this is the 4700 or something like this. So on that, I have a possibility to cam uh, here, as you see. I have a possibility to cam here uh, as uh, auxiliary input. And the main input, which is connected to my uh, mixing desk, is coming on the back, and therefore that here and uh, here you can uh, adjust how much uh, music you get from the from the mixing desk on on the monitor channel, and here you can adjust, of course, your Uh, volume for uh, your uh, headphone uh, by the way now in, in the moment uh, uh, the the headphone output is connected to my uh, to my uh, uh, recorder because i want to show you all this uh, all these goodies <laughs> what is can happen here and uh, so yeah Uh, so if you get a bit uh, more noise on on this channel so really sorry because this is a really uh, headphone uh, uh, level output but i turned a bit of course to to get the, the best uh, result from that so let's say i am the singer uh, sorry guys but i will <laughs> not sing <laughs> i will not sing because i am not a singer and uh, most of you guys i also think are not a singer Hey mixer guy, please give me a uh, uh, music for my uh, singing. Okay, so here uh, I as a, um, I coming here, um, I set up the the right level of the uh, the right level of the of the music which is coming uh, from the from the desk. But at the moment I will put a bit uh, less what is uh, on the normal because. You guys have to to hear me and uh, after when i installed the art drx or dr x or really i don't know the the bronze because i <laughs> i never see this unit on on any article and then 
she, with a very small one minute of, of teaching, then she can adjust uh, uh, let no uh, put a bypass. So then here she can adjust by herself the, the amount of the effect on her voice. And this is when the 25 bucks is coming really handy and uh, sweety. So let me put the bypass uh, off. And uh, so my voice, uh, now it's coming from this AKG microphone to the Art Voice channel. And from this Art Voice channel, I get back again, I just example you guys it's getting, coming back to the art and from the art I coming to here because uh, on this uh, on this uh, specific unit I don't have auxiliary input on a back it's so stupid maybe I will uh, modify it but Brr, how mm. maybe you lost yourself in a micro what's going on exactly in a, in a headphone so I did uh, for you guys uh, a whiteboard uh, again uh, about how the clean signals and um, the affected signals and uh, the music is came together into the headphone. So let's check this out. And now I'm changing the, the position of the camera and I apply some light because this whiteboard is actually a glass. So wait a sec, I changed the the position of the camera. As you see guys, I did a very talented uh, hand draw for this presentation. So let's jump into the signal path. Uh, what's, which kind of signal and what kind of signal is doing what. So actually, here is my singer, you see, she is, she is a very nice, she has a very nice uh, red mouse, so she is singing, la la la, into the mic. From the mic, the clean signal is coming to my mic preamp, which is in my case, it's uh, the art voice channel. And on, on my art voice channel, I has two output. One is XLR, another is TRS. From the TRS, the clean signal is coming out into the Dr. X. And the other clean signal is coming into my, into my mixer and to, into my DAW. And actually here, you can see this uh, dotted line. This is the border between the two worlds. So actually this part is the mic room and this part is my recording uh, studio. So the clean signal is coming to the door and when you do a record, uh, the, the clean voice signal from the mic is coming with the one of the zero latency monitoring port into my headphone and also going into the DAW. And of course in the DAW when you do a record, you see here, when you do a record, uh, this signal is not going to nowhere. But when you do a play, it's going out on one of your output. So under record, I can hear, I can listen to her voice. So she's voice is coming into this direction, into my headphone, but I also, when I do a record, the music track itself across on all the uh, channel uh, strip is coming to the stereo bus. And from the stereo bus, I have a signal of the music which is coming also into my headphone. It's very easy to do even on a most uh, cheapest uh, mm, um, sound card. Most of the sound cards uh, nowadays they have the possibility to do uh, near zero latency. What this means is maybe you just get a delay of one or two uh, sample time, which is really like uh, almost zero. So the music is also coming into my headphone. So this is the situation here when I'm doing the record. And what she get under the record, she get 
from her voice cross to my doll nothing because it's not coming out on the on the on the channel until I'm do a record. You see here the the signal is coming to here and is going to nowhere. But the music because it's not selected for record, the music is playing. So the music is coming out on the stereo bus and is going to her headphone amplifier. And also she can uh, listen to my words on the Talbok mic because time to time I have to communicate with the, um, with the singer. So for that I have uh, uh, a Talbok mic and this Talbok mic is rooted even in your song card or even in your DAW or if you have an outside mixer or something you can root the Talbok mic into the stereo bus. And from the stereo bus, so again, this is my voice, this, this is the, the sign of my voice and this is the sign of the music, so music is red, my voice is uh, this triangle without uh, nothing inside, so <clears throat> she can listen to the music and to my voice. And this is what she get on a headphone amp. And on this specific headphone amp or even any other headphone amp, I, I, I think, there is two input. One is the main and one is aux. And on all, almost all the headphone amp you have a possibility to do adjustment between more music or more me. So this is what she get from the studio. So again, mu uh, music and my voice. So it's coming to her headphone. But what's happened with her, with her uh, singing voice? So again, the singing voice is coming into my preamp. From the mic preamp is coming into my Dr. X. On the Dr. X, this is this very lovely potty on the front where she can adjust how much dry or how much wet she wants to get from her voice. So actually this potty is just doing, uh, you see the, the clean signal is coming, sorry guys, maybe it's too big this uh, ticky. So from the clean signal she can get or from the engine of, of the effect. So the adjust this potty she can choose the depth of, 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 the, of, of the effect. So, and then from the Dr. X, this signal is coming to the AUX bus, to the headphone amp, and on a headphone amp she also can adjust more music or more me. So then, after what she get, this is the music, and uh, sorry I just forgot one, signal and this is my voice and this is her signal which is um, which is updated with the Dr. X uh, effect uh, sound. So this is the three thing what she get. Sorry my phone is ringing but I don't care at the moment. So let's do what can happen when we play. So time to time when, when she stop, she wants to listen back all of her uh, singing with the music. So let's do play. Under the play, this record pass, here is disabled. It's mostly in, in all those systems you can choose if you play you want to get the monitoring from the input signal or you don't want. So let's say you you, you set up your DAW when you play, you don't want a signal monitoring on the input bus. And almost all the DAW can do the same with the zero latency monitoring. So when you are playing, I didn't get, um, it depends on the setup. So when I'm playing, I didn't get her voice or in my case, I always uh, connected 
to the to the input to my headphone because time to time the, the singers they react immediately so they start to to speaking onto the mic so actually i don't have to uh, switch here the monitoring on off on off N never because i i always has uh, this zero latency monitoring into my headphone oh sorry i just kicked the, the kick the camera so let's play on the play the vocal track itself is start to play it's going through the all the the, the channel strip so dynamic eq blah 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 effects uh, something and then she get her voice which is totally updated with uh, those system effects on the on the channel strip so after this voice is coming to the stereo bus and from the stereo bus together with the music which is again play together with the music she can get back again the music and her own channel with the channel strip effects when it's play so then it's coming to the headphone amp on the main and it's coming uh, through to the headphone and when in my case when she's react immediately on 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 the listening back of the of the record i again can uh, can listen to her she also can hear her own voice and we can do fully communication between the talkback mic between the the main mic and between the two headphones <laughs> i i hope is uh, i hope it's uh, helpful and uh, you can understand um, this very small presentation so let's switch back uh, to the mic room so actually if i am a singer and i want um, more effect on my voice without disturbing the 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 mixer guy the record engineer i can put for myself how much i like so here is my voice uh, a bit uh, bit uh, reverb or she can choose uh, other uh, setup she can again uh, adjust the, the amount of uh, of the effect which is top on uh, her voice or his voice so let's jump uh, to the third one it's actually a really nice uh, sounding uh, vocal chamber this is actually how it's called this program so if she start to singing really like uh, singing in the rain okay you you i, I think you already heard uh, the amount of effect which is really fine adjust you you have a possibility to to do a really fine adjustment on the amount of of the effects so if somebody like more effect than uh, original voice of course she can do like this or or somewhere in the middle but i think it's around uh, 20 percent or something like this is the best and uh, let me go back to the uh, preset which is called ab road rm2 so yeah that's it <laughs> and okay now you may thinking okay but uh, i don't have uh, this amount of gear and blah 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 no guys it's really it's it's really nothing it's just uh, you, you you patching up your uh, mic input into your uh, computer you are doing uh, the record on on the clean uh, voice and you just uh, sending back the the clean voice to this uh, to this uh, effect unit and and I, I think and i think it's uh, uh, also the some some kind of uh, headphone amplifier like this is really came to be handy because uh, 
for example on that uh, specific unit you have a lot of uh, possibility to adjust you can do just uh, left or uh, just the, the right or stereo or mono or uh, more bass on your own uh, on the input or more uh, highs or whatever so actually you know everything what I touch uh, touching here you can uh, you can hear on on the video so this also came really handy but now I'm really really happy with this beautiful art of 25 box El Cheapo uh, El Cheapo effect unique and now it really came to be handy so let me turn out the um, the music you hear it uh, uh, this is my dry voice and nobody has to touch nothing you don't have to come here you don't have to adjust uh, remotely or send the midi parameters by the way it has uh, midi input of course you can uh, load up uh, presets or you can change the program or you can change the, the parameters or simply if she want more she just put more if if she want more 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 yeah she can so if i'm seeing in the rain yeah and if somebody is saying to me this unit has a ugly sound I'm not believe. I find a lot of presets inside which is really sitting well on on the on my DX7, on my guitar, on my Casio CZ scene. So it's really how I can say it? I really love uh, this unit for 25 bucks. Come on, guys, it's 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 nothing. So just. Uh, Turn down a bit and uh, give uh, some music. So, but the the original topic is how you can make uh, your uh, singer happy and uh, why some uh, some singer is asking this. It's really simple because some singer they are not singing at home they are, they are really professional they have a live live uh, live show no they have uh, live shows and uh, of course on the live shows they always has a very nice uh, uh, ambient on, on 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 the stage and they also have uh, a lot of um, patched uh, effect uh, units on on their own voice so uh, really, if so, if if you want to invite uh, one uh, really professional singer who is always on a stage, is definitely came really handy something like this. I'm not say you have to look for this same uh, specific art uh, Doctor X uh, effect uh, unit. It's even the, this other air chip or midi verb or from from the Behringer. Uh, I don't know what's the name of, of this product. I forgot. Uh, no, I will I will not get. Uh, uh, doesn't matter. To spend 25 bucks or to even 20 or even 10. Time to time, I'm see uh, I'm, I'm, I'm see uh, almost uh, similar uh, units on eBay for five seven bucks. It's really guys, it's nothing, and then you don't have to came into the you don't have to came into the big mess of uh, of how you can uh, uh, apply some uh, effect on 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 the direct monitoring of, of the microphone, and uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, I hope. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed this really uh, small show and uh, and uh, just for the just for the just for the fun uh, now I I turning up a bit more on the effect maybe me you can hear a bit more and uh, uh, let's jump a bit in the presets oh sorry I just uh, touched the, the camera a bit why I'm touching this because I have remote controller for that. <laughs> okay, maybe now my voice it's, it sounds like uh, I'm not uh, 
<laughs> in a mic booth because uh, there is no no music and I uh, turn a bit up uh, to let you guys hear a bit uh, better. So this is the preset two, and uh, now I'm going to the preset uh, three, which is some kind of uh, vocal chamber. This is really good and really handy, even on uh, on a normal record. Uh, Glistening plate. This is the voice of glistening plate. You heard that how long it can be run on, like on a plate, and it really has this old, uh, crusty, um, bit too aggressive uh, reverb uh, uh, voice on it. This is the Changri. Carney, I don't know, <laughs> Carney G, hole. I am in a hole, fire in a hole. Fire in a hole. Okay, let's uh, go. Cluster bomb gate. Wow. Machine gun. I, I, I think it's, uh, it, it, it's made it for, uh, for, for a drum session. So a bit of uh, beatbox maybe will help. Uh huh. I, I, yeah, it's made for the drum. Uh, just okay. It's some kind of sampler. I don't know how it's working. Uh, sampler again. Ping pong all night. So you hear it? It really has this old uh, digital. Uh, Kraftwerk <laughs> style oh, in the song. Let's go more. Wow! How long this echo? How long this echo? Mm, uh, something is came to my head, into my brain. It's on the movie of uh, of Pitch Black, I think. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It says almost the massive. Uh, <laughs> two seconds or three seconds of uh, echo. Okay, this is something uh, made it for a guitar, but I think it's uh, really, really interesting vo on a voice, on a human voice. Sure. Some, Some kind of, of chorus. Uh -huh. It has uh, expander on it, compressor, EQ, and, and, and uh, some chore, core, I don't know how it's pronounced, core. Maybe I love you. No, it's wrong. Glistening. Maybe I love you. Dream flange, wow, it's not flange, it's strange, because also it's coming on on a zero, it has some uh, processing, I, I think I have to work a bit on, on this uh, potty, no, it's actually empty, yeah, just the compressor and the EQ is, uh, maybe it's rooted to, to get uh, out and uh, go to get out on the output without uh, touching the the uh, the pot rainforest i don't know for what is that milo oh it's make your voice uh, a double voice so one it's under you by uh, 12 uh, 12 note maybe it has ah this is i am a smurf this is my smurf voice no let's see something in the edit mode. So let's go to the edit mode. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. Let's do something. F position, EQ. One kilo F, ten kilo F. Slow compressor, drive, relays, output. Expander type, gate. Source, the input, ah, here. So. here I have uh, the adjustment on, on the source, it's can 
do on an input or after the the previous effect i think so let's go more uh, uh, expand the range expand the output low pass high pass blah 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 ah i find here is the 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 pitch of my voice changing so now i'm singing on plus five plus four plus three plus two plus one and i i coming down to minus minus three minus four minus five minus six my voice is really unbelievable house monkey yeah This voice, I, I think it's in the Predator movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not game with too much. And worry pitch score. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Rot Leslie. Here is Resley Simulator. Now let's go. And uh, uh, rotating Leslie. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I find. It's really handy on, 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 on the digital keyboards. For example, the for example the the uh, DX7 or uh, or the Casio CZ1 don't has any effect inside, nothing. And yeah, I, I like this on 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 these uh, keyboards. So let's uh, engage again. Uh, it's it's almost full with expanders, compressors, and uh, space shifter. Oh. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so, so massive nice. and digital. Wow. Pixie in a space. Ah, this is the. Oh, okay. And here, it came handy if you can adjust the the output. You see, now we are drive. Uh, zero drive almost overdrive my recorder so here i can uh, the level of output by hand nothing fancy no turns no uh, buttons no knobs nothing so let's go more train coming wow it's again a lot of uh... wow <laughs> i really like this unit it has its own voice, definitely, definitely has its own voice. Spiral, downward, box of booms, wow, it's something for guitar. So, okay, let's um, jump back to the zero two. It's so simple, I just can recall the, the presets also from here. You have buttons from zero to nine, and of course you press 22 or 24 or zero two and you get. So yeah um uh, uh i hope you guys saw everything and uh, now i just try to zoom in out but i forgot to adjust my camera so yeah it's really handy i think and i think it's really kind of uh, fun for 25 bucks so um Okay. No, I just try to came in out. So uh, yeah, I finished with this uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you wanna give a big uh, thumbs up, please give me. And any question or suggestion or blah blah blah, it's really welcome as a comment below. Bye guys. Oh, let's go back to this pig. Oh, it's really funny. 23. Yeah. Barber Paul. Barber. Yeah, I love my voice. I am the biggest. The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> in the face. Why I say why I say space
Then it's not space, it's space. I'm your warrior. I'm your warrior, you idiot.